If one wants to understand the universe, then one should think in the terms of energy, frequency and vibrations. Well, everybody knows that these are the famous words of a renowned scientist, Nikola Tesla. But have you ever thought that why he said in such way? Why just energy, vibrations and frequency? How sound is related to the frequency and the vibrations? How the words which are phonetic, that is again sound, can they help to heal us? Lot of questions arise in your mind. Don't worry, we here at the Master Seeker would try to put the light on this kind of matter. Welcome to Master Seeker's new video, Secrets of Vibrations and Frequencies. The universe is just not what we actually see in the physical world. Tesla also had said that if we want to know the secrets of the universe, we should focus on the non-physical aspects rather than on the physical ones, because that will speed up the inventions. Yeah, that's that's the bottom line. The trio, energy, vibrations and frequency are the non-physical aspects, which cannot be seen by the naked eyes. Yes, that's it. You hit the bottom line. The trio, energy, vibration and frequency are the non-physical aspects, which can't be seen by our eyes. Now what's the vibration? In physics, sound is vibration that typically propagates as an audible wave of pressure through a transmission medium like solid, liquid or gas. In simple words, vibration are the oscillations, quick moving back and forth or maybe up and down, but at a point of equilibrium. The pitch of sound is directly related to its frequency. The higher the pitch, the higher is its frequency and lower the pitch, the lower will be its frequency. Human ear can hear sounds of frequencies ranging from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Sound waves can be visually seen and studied using Kladni plates, which was devised and experimented by Ernst Kladni a famous German physicist with a passion for sound and music. Sound is everywhere, such as those coming from the nature, from the animals, those generated by humans in the form of speech or music, those that are generated by the vehicles, machines and gadgets. Knowingly or unknowingly, these old sound waves can be heard in our life. We can feel them around us. These all can have a positive or negative impact on us. Sound waves are longitudinal in nature, which means the vibrations of the air particles have the same propagation direction as that of the waves. Lot of research has been done in the field of sound. The universe is nothing but an energy, and each basic element of the atomic chart consists of energy at different rates of vibration, which means the difference between any two elements will be its vibrational rate and the atomic structure's difference. Ancient generations in India followed an ideology called Advaita Vedanta, in which they believed that spiritual growth is the only core purpose and the reason for being alive on earth. A sort of positive energy is present in and around us, and one should make use of the same for some kind of constructive purpose. Now, when we are looking at the secrets of vibrations and sounds, how come music can be left aloof from the topic? Music is known as the common world language. This is the only language where the listener do not need basic study for understanding. Just the heart and brain must get a sigh of relief when the ears get some kind of good stuff or piece of music. But now here the word good is a subject to because what one style of music is soothing, relaxing and healing won't be the same for the every person in the world. Music is nothing but again ups and downs of the air particles. An example we can say, in the Hindustan classical music, there are various ragas. Each raga is different from each other. Now this very difference is the different 
available in the pitch, tone, and frequency. The intervals in the music give a pleasantness. Consonants is that quality of a musical interval which has a pleasant or harmonious effect on the listener. In Indian music, consonants is known as samvaditva, which means harmony in the Sanskrit. Dissonance is that quality of a musical interval which does not have pleasant or harmonious effect on the listener. In Sanskrit, we call it as vivaditva. While some of the intervals are neither of pleasant or unpleasant, those are called supportive intervals, anuvaditva in Sanskrit. Now, why such intervals have any kind of impact on the body, brain, and mind? The frequencies of two notes of the interval create a mathematical ratio that affects the body in different ways. When we listen to all intervals in the musical scale, it is profoundly healing for our body and our mind. Pythagoras discovered that the ratios of the musical intervals were found in the nature, the planets, and the constellations. He believed that the intervals reflected the neutral, natural order of the heavens and nature. Listening to music purified the soul, restoring the vitality of the body, calming the mind and emotions. Fabian Mammon, a researcher, discovered that by playing certain musical intervals can heal the cancer cells. He said, the seed of spiritual is found in the physical. In the heart of cells, in the spiral of DNA is written that divine story. When scientific research, spiritual practice and artistic expression work together, heaven and earth are in the resonance. This is Tamadu, the way of the soul. He conducted a biological experiment in the early 80s showing the impacts of acoustic sounds. Cancer cells would explode and healthy cells would become energized and empowered. He used Kirlian photography, a contact print technology, which was able to document what happens to the energy fields of a healthy human cells when they are exposed to chromatic scale of sound frequencies. He discovered that color and shape of each cell and its subtle energy field, also called as aura, changed according to the pitch and the timbre of each musical note. Below we can see some cancer cells images which were taken in the experiment conducted by Fabian Mayman in the late 80s. He also discovered that when the cell felt a vibratory affinity with a certain note, the cell's aura would transform into a mandala shape, which is like a circular formation with the vibrant colors of pinks and blue. Mammon concluded this was the cell's fundamental note, and if the person tuned with it, harmony could be achieved within the cells, the energy field of the person, and also outside the world. Further, he began to deepen his research that what if physical cells and the energy fields can recognize and respond favorably to the vibrations? Is it possible that they have consciousness? What could be the connection between cells and soul? The research gone further as Mammon got a partner, Helene Grammel. She was senior researcher at NSCR Paris. She was interested in understanding the effects of music on human cells. They both together spent five nights a week for a year and a half carrying out the experiments. They conducted two types of experiments. Now in the first way, they kept a microscope and mounted a camera over it to take the snap of the cell's structure and they studied how do they respond to the sounds which were produced. And in the second type, they used Kirlian photographic method, uh, which was like helps to record the changes in the electromagnetic field of the cells as they receive the sounds. In the experiment, sound was created at a distance of 30 centimeters and with an amplitude between 30 to 40 decibels. As the sound progressed up to the musical scale, the cancer cells would explode at certain frequency. And it was observed like that the sound traveled outward from the center of the cell to its outer membrane. A French physicist, Joel Sternheimer, says that the elementary particles behave as if they were musical notes on chromatic scale. Fabian says that 
the explosion in the cancer cells is caused by the resonance between the sounds that we create and the elementary particles content in the cells. Mammon and Grimal found that at sound frequencies between A at 440 Hz and B at 493 Hz, the cancer cells would get breakdown. down. Their structure got into complete disorganization. He concluded that healthy cells were able to freely receive, absorb and return the energy. In contrast, the cancer cells appeared inflexible and immutable in their structure. Wow. Isn't that great to know that a disease is getting cured by having music rather than going for a cow, which is like a pitch black hell? Well, that sounds like a perfect music to our ear. Yeah, it is. But wait, you need to know that Mammon carried out these experiments in late 80s. We don't have any clue that what type of cancer cells were used for the experiments. What was the stage of that cancer cells? We need to understand all the circumstances while analyzing any subject. So. Sound do play an important role as being an alternative healing method. That doesn't mean music therapy isn't useful. Music helps cancer people to reduce their anxiety, helps to improve the quality of life and reduce the symptoms and the side effects. So Secret of Sound has really a positive outcome for all of us. We would present you some more experiments on the sounds in the next part of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe our channel for more such kind of videos.